before I go to work. <laughs> hey. I didn't really have anything technically prepared, but then just Monday, God gave this to me and I was like, you know what, I'll share it because it could help somebody else and it's something I've personally kind of been struggling with lately. So he gave me this verse, um, Ephesians 6:12. It says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the, dark, not the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. And the NLT says our, our flesh and blood enemies. And I like that because it really points out that us, our physical bodies, our our beef is not with people, you know, physical, seen people. It's with the unseen. It's with the things that you cannot see. In other words, like spiritual warfare. And Ephesians um, 6, the 10, uh, 10 through 20, is talking about the armor of God. So it's telling you to put on that armor of God because he's saying your spiritual armor, because he's saying your battle is not with these people that you physically see it's with the unseen that's why he's telling you put on the full armor of god but um see our enemy is not whoever we have um beef with this morning or this week or my beef with this individual that i'm dealing with <laughs> Um, he, that is not my beef. It's simply not the fleshly person in front of you. It's the unseen person inside. Satan, he is your enemy. He is who you are up against. It's not your neighbor. It's not the person spreading lies. It's not um, the your relatives or the person you're frustrated. Maybe in-laws or um, maybe mother-in-laws, whatever it may be, it's not that person. It is Satan. He is the unseen person that you are up against. And it is a, you are in a spiritual warfare um, dealing with Satan, trying to either drive you out or take you down the wrong path or cause you strife at work or strife in your personal life, strife wherever you may be. Um, it says, uh, and this has hit home lately. <laughs> Simply because, again, I've been dealing with somebody at work, um, but God has laid this on my heart to remind me who my beef really is with, and it's not with this individual. It's with Satan, and he's trying to really get under my skin, <laughs> really just ruin my day at work because I like my job. And I think he's really trying to drive me out or cause strife in the workplace, which has never honestly been there until recently. And I won't have it. <laughs> so, okay. And let's talk about, it says we need to, <clears throat> who our beef really is with, and to pray for our enemies. Because in all honesty, we are not by any means supernatural and the only weapon that we can really fight this unseen um issue is with our is number one jesus is the only one that can fight this battle for you number two it says to put on the whole armor of god put on that whole armor because we are not supernatural we cannot physically fight off what we can't see you know what i mean so the only way we can overcome a spiritual battle of the unseen is to turn to the unseen and that's jesus we have to turn to the unseen hand it over to him surrender it to him and lay it at his feet he is the only one who can fight this battle for you who can turn your enemy into your friend who can turn that unseen battle into a very vivid victory he is the only one that can do that for you and he can have you can he you can claim that victory if you hand it over to him and let him fight this battle for you anna <laughs> anna <laughs> so remember when someone rubs you the wrong way and when you feel like you got some beef stirring up with somebody remember who the real enemy is who your beef really is with 
I personally think it makes loving an individual, it makes it a little easier because you realize that your battle is not with them. You're not mad at them. You're mad at what Satan is trying to stir up. You're mad at what he is trying to do in your life and the, the negative effect he's having. You know what I mean? And I think it makes it a little easier to understand that person and to love that person. And whatever's going on inside of you, whatever's going on inside of me, and if I feel you're, you're my enemy, it's me who has classified you as such. And that's not why he, and that's why he tells us to pray for our enemies, you know, because, <clears throat> and that's why he tells us to pray for our enemies. They do not make themselves your enemy. We classify them as our enemies. And when we pray for them, it changes us to see them and to love them like Christ does, like Christ does. <laughs> Literally, I'm in my bed writing all this, and God just giving all this to me. It's just, it's just not even me writing. I just feel like He's just take, took my hand and was like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, and I believe that's why you pray for enemies because it's typically us who classifies an individual as, hey, you're my enemy. I mean, like that person would come up to you and just be like, I'm your enemy. Hey, <laughs> you know, they wouldn't do that. We classify them because they rubbed us the wrong way, or maybe we see that they are trying to stir up stir up trouble but it's really not them it's satan it's satan and um we must pray for them to change and when we pray for them it changes us to see them and to love them like christ does and that's why he calls us to pray for our enemies because it not only changes us but most likely the outcome becomes different it becomes different and it's very hard but it is very vital very vital so let's pray for the day <laughs> pray for me <laughs> God thank you for this wonderful day thank you for all you have given us um, I pray Lord that you help us to remember who our battle is with that it is against it is not against flesh and blood but against the the principalities of powers, darkness, and um, rulers of this age, and the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. It is against those things. Um, remind us who our beef is, is really with, and it's not with flesh and blood, Lord. It is with the unseen world, and Lord, help us to hand our battles over to um, the unseen, which is you. You fight our battles, and Lord, you can give us that vivid, very clear, vital victory that we need. Let us turn our battles over to you, Lord, and help us to put on the full armor of God so that we may withstand the schemes of the devil and all that he tries to throw at us. But Lord, thank you for this day. Guide and lead us as we go through today. And I forgive me that this video is maybe in poor quality, but Lord, you can make it high quality. So thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So today, challenge, remember who your battle is really with. Remember, Ephesians 6, 12. Have a good day, y'all. I'm going to go to work now. <laughs> I'm like four minutes late, but this is more important, right? <laughs> Bye. Update. I forgot to tell you about my friend that made it all the way from my house to work. <laughs> Are you ready? Look. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Can you see him? <laughs> it's a little bee. He made it. Hi, guy. You're in Missouri. You're in Missouri. Do you know that? <laughs> He's so cute. I'm so happy he made it. I prayed for him all the way here. Poor little guy. All right. Have a good day. <laughs>